So we can understand Buddha Vajrasattva is the same person as Buddha Vajradhara, who is the founder of Vajrayana Buddhism. So Buddha Vajradhara appeared to turn the wheel of Vajrayana Buddhism. Or we can say the Buddhism of Tantra or the Buddhism of secret mantra. So Vajrasattva is the same person as the person who is the founder of Vajrayana Buddhism. So I'd like at this point to just say a little bit about um, Tantra. So if Buddha Vajrasattva is Buddha Vajradhara, and recently Geshe-la has said, a manifestation of all the Buddhas of the Ten Directions appears specifically as Vajrasattva to purify the minds of all living beings through special um, tantric technology, quick method. He's guiding living beings to these quick methods whereby they can become completely pure, solve all their problems, enable others to solve theirs, establish pure and everlasting happiness and have the ability to bless the minds of each and every living being and guide them step by step to that same supreme inner peace and everlasting happiness. So Buddha Vajrasattva is the same person as the founder of Vajrayana Buddhism, revealing Tantra, special uh, methods, special quick scientific technology that anyone can practice to swiftly become a Buddha in one short life. So what is Tantra? What is Tantra? Secret Mantra, Vajrayana. It is a special method, special method, technology, technique, special method to purify our world, our self, our enjoyments, and our activities, so that everything becomes completely pure. Tantra is a special method to purify our world. How extraordinary. We've met a method to purify our world, our world, our self, our enjoyments, and our activities. Everything will become completely pure through relying upon Tantra, which depends upon Sutra. So in his Sutra teachings, Buddha gives us great encouragement to accomplish the real meaning of human life, to attain enlightenment. This is the real meaning of human life, so that we have, we establish pure and everlasting happiness ourself, because in this impure world there is no real happiness. But more importantly, we develop when we attain enlightenment, accomplishing the real meaning of our human life, we accomplish an inner light of wisdom that is permanently free from all mistaken appearance and gives us special ability to bestow mental peace on each and every living being every day. There is no greater meaning than this to which we can apply ourself 
use our human life um, to its deepest purpose. So this opportunity is appearing for us now.